Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I am, I mean, I'm working from home, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are working from home right now. So to be productive during my time at home, I am not taking a step away from my usual videos. I am still very much a fashion channel. This is still very much a fashion YouTube video, but uh, I'm gonna clean out my closet and have you guys with me. So not only am I being super productive, um, but it is still like fashion related. And I don't know, I just feel like this might be sort of mindless entertainment that you guys might need right now the way that I know I need it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this video. I guess the best way to start doing this is for me to just literally grab everything and take it out and put it on this chair and then like sort through it. So yeah, let's uh, let's montage this for like two seconds while I deal with that. <laughs> so instead of sugar coating it for you guys, this is the current state of my closet. It is like, that's clothes on the floor. It's new hangers I got to, you know, clean this beauty up. Um, I've got my vitamins and this, mess of a shelf um and it like keeps going back there until you can see all my books hidden away that aren't on my bookshelves so i think it's pretty obvious that uh this could use a bit of help just a just a bit <laughs> No, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, this one is already on my Depop. I'm probably gonna take the items on my Depop and put them somewhere not in my closet just because I don't, I obviously don't really have room. So maybe I'll put theirs, them somewhere like in a bin or in storage. This is a Zara jacket I have that's for sale currently on my Depop. It's so nice if you saw my thrifting video. It's just that. I, it's not really my style. It's beautiful, but it's too edgy for me when I'm work early, so. Can't work under these conditions. Actually, I'm getting sweaty, so I'm totally gonna change. There we go. Um, there, I'll start with the sweater I was just wearing. Um, a lot of these items you've seen before, especially on my thrifting videos, because of course, a lot of these items are thrifted, so I'm just gonna start by hanging them all back up on these cute little pink fuzzy hangers. <laughs> I guess I can make this pretty chit chatty right now. Um, where am I going to put the other hangers? I did not plan before I made this. They're just going to go on the floor. <laughs> Obviously I will have to deal with that. I'm just going to leave my hangers on the floor for weeks to come. This is just a super cozy sweater. I don't wear it as much as I used to. If you guys watch my old videos, I wore it in like almost all of my old videos because <laughs> I was obsessed with it for a time. I don't know if you guys are like that, but where you get like absolutely obsessed with an article of clothing that you wear it so much that like when you wear it later you're just not as in love with it anymore because you've just literally worn the crap out of it. That is this cozy sweater for me. It's still so cozy though that I'm like, I'm keeping it. I'm not that over it. Uh, this is a thrifted jean jacket I got at Garage. I think everyone needs one staple jean jacket and I'm lucky enough that I got this for like $5 somewhere. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. So I don't know how you guys are handling the virus right now, um, but for me, I just find that it's, um, making me not want to do a lot. Like this, my, me filming this video is my first time I've like put on makeup in a few days. I leave the house, but only to go on like hikes where there's literally no one but me, my dog, and my dad. This really pink, really cute pink trench coat. I'm gonna think about getting rid of it, but I'll see if I actually wear it this spring or not. I've had it two seasons of spring and have mainly, maybe only worn it like twice now. So I wanna give it a third chance because I do, I actually love it. I just haven't worn it. So you may see it on my Depop later, but it'll be something that comes quite a bit later into spring to let me see if I actually love it or not. But yeah, I have been doing absolutely nothing. Um, I've been playing Sims. Actually, Sims, by the time I upload this video, is on sale right now for $5 for Sims 4. So that's literally all I've been doing to the point, okay, wait, I'll show you this. 
This is a really cute jean jacket. I also got thrifting. My school had this really cool initiative where if you brought in like three of your clothes, you were able to get three thrifted items. So it's kind of like a thrift exchange, I guess. And that is where I got this one. I find it so cute with like pastel colors and a nice light jean jacket. So it's like oversized too, which is, I mean, it's such a look. As far as my sim obsession goes, um, I literally dreamt in Sims last night, guys. Like, I literally had a dream, and in my dream, I should move as I do this. In my dream, I literally had the, like, little bar at the bottom, and I was, like, trying to get my social up or something, and I think that's, like, the most accurate thing that it could possibly be is that. So this is just a plain black blazer. I don't really need to go into it. Oh my god, this is why I was changing hangers. Like, look at this. That's not useful. I have a lot of business wear, as you guys can totally expect when the world get back to normal, that I will have a office clothing video. Um, this one is just, I guess I can back up a bit. This is just like a long draping cardigan. I always go like that and put a belt around it and wear it as a dress. Probably one of my favorite items I own. But yeah, obviously I'm not even thinking about like putting on my business clothes. I know that they say to work from home to do that. Um, but I'm just not in the point right now where I, I don't know, I need to do that, but I can totally see how that would be beneficial. This, this is a silk blazer. I've totally shown you guys a million times. I'm not gonna show you every detail, but just know I love it. <laughs> We're definitely getting into my blazers now too, guys. This is probably the one I wear the most, just because it's the most structured blazer I own. I got it from Nasty Gal and it comes in a two-piece set. I only bought the top because the bottoms are so big and baggy that just a big baggy blazer with a big baggy bottoms I feel like would just make me look like I'm swimming in it, like I'm literally five foot two. I'm excited for the days when I get excited to put together outfits again and not just the only outfits that I wear are ones that I use you know, going hiking. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna get super glammed up to go hiking and take my dog for a walk, so making these YouTube videos are like a, a great creative outlet for me to just still want to do that. This Le Chateau blazer, I've totally showed you guys before. I've totally showed you guys actually a lot of my pieces that I'm showing you now, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. I thought that there was a lot in my closet that I hadn't shown you, but I guess we'll really see during this video. But yeah, this is, this is that. What I guess I wanna know from you guys is how you're handling this right now. Um, obviously I've been talking to quite a few of my internet friends and quite a few of you, obviously, um, and just like keep, you know, checking up on people because we have such an online interconnected community that we don't need to feel super alone in this right now. So I just kinda wanna know how everyone's doing like I genuinely want to know and if of course you feel super lonely or if you feel like you're getting too into your head which I mean day three of me working from home yeah I I understand um then just message me of course I'm I'm really easy to talk to I have time to message everyone back to my Ireland sweater oh, I just realized that I'm totally gonna have to take out everything that's in this side of my closet to put that in before I go and change everything around so it's my room's gonna be messy before it can be clean again so it's a metaphor <laughs> i'm surprised i haven't seen anything i want to get rid of yet but i guess it makes sense that the section in that i really always see when i first open my up my closet is this is dirty this is going along it makes sense for that section to be clothing that i wear all the time i've got a primark sweater dress I might not wear this as much as I did when I first bought it, but I'm definitely going to keep it because this saved my butt hiking in the winter time to just have a huge sweater dress that like traps in all the heat. I'm trying to make this my last Canadian winter, but I have no idea if that's going to be true or not. Oh, there we go. My first something I'm going to get rid of. I don't know if I'm going to put this up on Depop or just automatically give it to my consignment store, let me know if anyone here is interested in it. It's just a big fuzzy, not fuzzy, just a big purple cardigan. This is just a big thrifted sweater. I don't know about you, but my one of my biggest problems is that I don't own a lot of staples. Like I own a lot of really unique sort of pieces, um, 
But like as far as staples go, I just don't own like plain white t-shirt. Like I just bought a plain jumpsuit and it took me years to do that. Like, or jumpsuit, bodysuit. Let me know if anyone else struggles with that. Cause I feel like when I'm shopping, I'm always looking for a unique piece. And that's just not the case. When I'm shopping, I always look for really, really unique pieces. Cause I'm like, man, that's gonna stand out and look absolutely beautiful. But I don't realize that if I buy a really beautiful blazer that I'm gonna need stuff to pair it with. So I'm trying to get a bunch of staples now, obviously, because then I just wouldn't really need to think about that. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you know how that works out. I might even make like a fashion staples video at some point. I feel so much creative freedom when it comes to this channel and using this channel as my outlet. So, so it's really nice to be able to like talk to you guys about something I'm passionate about and that's fashion. I'm like a brat. Got that passion for fashion. Mm, brats. This is my most recent thrifted video. I have this blazer from, originally from Dynamite was going to wear it to work but that's cool I haven't yet it just means it'll be more special when I do come to the first one that I'm like not a hundred percent sure if I want to get rid of it or not it's really cute and maybe a staple but um this is just a plain plank pink, pink blazer from forever 21 um I really love it the only time I've worn it though that I can even remember was, oh no, two times. I wore it once to a job interview, and then I wore it, maybe I won't keep, I keep hemming and hawing, I should probably just get rid of it at this point. I have, I have enough blazers. But I also wore it to a conference that I went to, a business conference, that I went to some time ago, and it's, it's such a staple, I just don't see myself wearing it, so maybe if someone loves it more than me. Oh, if my camera dies as I'm making this video, then that means I have to leave my mess like it is and then not okay if my camera dies and you guys see me switch my screen I'm gonna clean and really fit, organize the stuff that I know you won't be interested in so that as the battery is charging that I can come back and show you guys more things that you would be interested in like maybe stuff I'm going to get rid of on Depop for you or for I mean just really cool pieces in my closet but don't die I'm gonna keep going until it does though <laughs> Oh, this next is one of my favorite cozy cardigans. It is this little pink kind of cropped cardigan. The next one I shouldn't get rid of because I actually wear it quite often, but it is this really long cardigan that I own, like super long. Um, it's like ankle length, long, a really cute oversized cardigan. I is still up on my Depop, but I'm not immediately trying to get rid of it because I still do love it. So that's why the price is like kind of high. Also because I think I spent like $200 on this. It's a Roots Canada brand cardigan and I think it's like real wool or something. The next one is a cardigan, or cardigan, <laughs> a sweater I recently thrifted um, that has this like cool sheer detail in it. It is something I've totally shown you in another video. Not a lot here that I haven't shown you guys already. I'm pretty impressed by that. So that really does mean, because I have shown you a lot already, is that you, if you see something you really like, chances are there might actually be a link for it if I don't say that it's thrifted in one of my haul videos. So the big items I will try to find and link underneath and maybe some of my favorite items that I know I have a link to, I'll try to link underneath, but obviously I can't link my whole wardrobe for you guys. It's something I've accumulated over a few years, so. At some point, I did have this up on my Depop because it's um, like a beigey color of white and not like a complete white the way I wanted a little white cropped sweater to be. It's originally from Boohoo, but I think for now I'm gonna keep it. Actually, maybe I'll put it up for sale and if it does go, it goes and just like the root sweater, if it doesn't, then I won't be sad because it's really cute and I think that it's one of those staple pieces <laughs> um, that I know I don't have. So I will put it up, but if it doesn't sell, I won't be upset. I won't immediately put it to consignment or anything. Oh, are we done? I mean, we're, are we done? No, we're not done, but I'm moving on into dresses now. I have some winter dresses here that I'm gonna organize. I'm definitely running out real quick of these pink hangers, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my blue dress 
Is this inside out? This is totally inside out. Um, it's just a blue sweater dress. It's super cute. It's one of my favorite photos is me wearing this dress. I think it's originally from H&M, but I got it thrifted like a thrifter I am. This is my long knit dress. I showed you guys this in my favorite thrifted items video. It is literally still one of my favorite thrifted items. I love it, even though it's so simple. Like, do you ever get those pieces that like... <laughs> You buy something you absolutely love and you adore it and you are kind of scared that like one day you're going to do something and mess it up that, oh my god, this is such a metaphor, but you're going to do something and mess it up that like you can't wear your favorite dress anymore because you accidentally spilled like coffee all over it. I think coffee washes out. But you spilled something all over it that won't come out and it was your favorite dress, but now like you did something to ruin it. Oh my god, this sounds like such a metaphor. Obviously, I have some internal issues that I need to work with. Uh, this dress, I actually might be able to find the link for it. It's a long black dress, bodycon style, from H&M. Oh, this one, I hem and haw with every time. It's a cute sweater dress I got. Actually, one of the few things I got from ASOS so long ago. Um, but I never wear it. It's so cute on. I just never wear it. That I might put it up. Like, it's so cute on, guys. Um, I need to back up. But it's like, yeah, you can, it looks good right now, right? <laughs> um, that I'm totally gonna throw this bad boy up. I might be watching this video back in like a year and be like, why did you get rid of that? But that's okay. I guess I'm really willing to take that chance. This is just a super cozy roots dress that I always wear on my lazy days when it's cold out. And also I've owned this for so long and it still looks new. So roots clothing quality is pretty good. Not that I am a little biased though. I worked there. I totally worked there. But yeah, this is quality is still really good even though I worked there four years ago. So I keep putting the hanger the wrong way. Okay, I am into the few shirts that I have hung up. Um, the first shirt I have is the matching set of the pants I'm wearing right now. Uh, I should, in theory, throw this on because it would look really cute, but I'm not going to. <laughs> cute loungewear set that are totally coming in handy right now. I'm kidding, I actually have just been wearing my pajamas all day, except for when I go out hiking, then I'll throw on a pair of leggings and keep on my same pajama shirt. So you can tell I'm going a little bit insane in quarantine. This super cute dress, have I shown you guys this? It's an H&M bodycon dress. Um, literally one of my favorite things I own. It looks awesome on, and if I haven't shown it to you guys yet, then like, stay tuned. I'll probably throw it up in one of my zodiac sign videos. This is a new dress. I did use it. No, my pile's falling. Why do my piles keep falling? I used this for my Betty Cooper look in my Riverdale outfit video. But yeah, I'm gonna try and figure out what to do next as I charge my camera. So see you guys in a second for you. <laughs> cool, so two things happened when I was charging my battery. One, my battery charges really fast and I only just learned that, so that's cool. Two, I ended up taking all of the dresses and really springy stuff and summery stuff out that was in that side of the closet. I did end up going through quite a bit and getting a lot done. I put everything back in, but I did leave a lot to show you guys. It was a lot of the stuff that I was like genuinely excited to show you guys that I know I haven't showed it in videos yet. Obviously because I just switched to a fashion channel in the winter, so I haven't shown you guys a lot of my spring clothes yet. And I did come up with a few more things that I know I'm going to get rid of, so obviously I'm going to show you guys that too. And you can let me know if I'm stupid for getting rid of it or not. The first one is this super cute baby doll navy dress. I got it thrift shopping in Arizona and it is one of my favorite things. I just don't wear it enough to want to keep it. Not to want to keep it. To keep it and give it the love it deserves. The next one is something I got off Shein and or Shine as I was told it's pronounced. <laughs> um, it's just something I haven't worn yet. It is this little romper. Um, again, it's something that's super cute. It's just something that someone else could give better love to than I could give. I have a bunch of these gray hangers I've been hanging things up in. Um, 
they're the closest thing I have to another set of hangers. I don't just want random hangers anymore, I want sets. So um, it's the closest thing I have to the next best thing. I'm gonna start hanging up some spring dresses. And that's what's gonna be in the main part will be some spring dresses and then some just shirts, light shirts. This is a little dress, actually was one of my first purchases ever from Shine. Um, super cute, super short, but it was something I saw the blogger at Clothes Horse wearing and immediately bought after. So also back in the day, I had a, a clothing blog. This was probably in like 2013 or something and it died. It was super cute and super fun. Just going out and taking photos all the time in really cool locations was like getting tiring. So it ended up, I couldn't even tell you, I'm sure it's called Magella Bell because I've had the name Magella Bell for a while. This romper you guys have totally already seen. It feels so good to be showing you guys spring clothes. This dress, I don't know if I've showed, yeah, I've showed you guys in my Cinderella video. This dress I posted in my spring vacation looks video. Um, I pre-film a lot of my videos. This one obviously isn't pre-filmed. This is something I filmed and edited in the same day. Um, so when I pre-film my spring break video and get super excited about it, I posted it a week ago and like within a week so much has happened that like I know that I love the outfits in it but I would understand why you maybe wouldn't watch it. <laughs> it might be a little depressing for some people. So I can't remember if I told you this or not, but I realized that I'm not going to be able to do the side of my closet. That really just holds my gym clothes and pajamas. Um, it does hold a few skirts and shirts, but I'm not going to show you guys those in this video. Probability is that you will see them either come up on my Depop when I go through them, or you guys will see them um, in another fashion related video at some point. I mean, summer has just begun and there's so many of my summer clothes in there too. Yeah, this dress, super cute. One of my favorite dresses ever, like literally ever. I wore it um, on a big date and maybe that's why I love it, but I also feel really cute in it. Um, but I, yeah, I got this also from Shine and it's one of my favorite dresses ever, so that's insane. I have this little American Eagle, like, romper. This is a dress that I actually really thought about getting rid of, but it is also, like, a button-up, like, weird dress that's, like, super flowy, and I'm not that into it, but I can tie it up and make it, like, a super flowy top, so I'm gonna keep it for those purposes. Also, I am a huge fan of the color yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. And makes me so happy to see it so back in the day I used to wear yellow all the time that I was known as like I was not known as mustard yellow girl but if my friend saw something that was mustard yellow they would automatically show me and I would automatically get it so I only have like two three mustard yellow pieces left from that and I do I love them <laughs> this is just a little baby doll dress I got thrift shopping the other day. I can already tell just how much space I'm saving in my closet though. I'm gonna hang this up here for now because since it's spaghetti straps I'm sure I could fit a lot more on that. Strapless boohoo dress, pretty sure it was five dollars and I will hang that up on a pant hanger too if I have any room left. This one is another article of clothing that I lived in. Oh my god I